It's Valparaiso and Milwaukee picking up here in the first inning. Valparaiso would score five runs in the inning. They only had three hits. Here's another reason why they scored some runs. Wild pitch here, and Andrew Bain touches home. And we also look at uh, Bain coming up for a second time in the inning. He'll single into left field here and collect another RBI. Take a look now as we switch it to the sixth inning where Milwaukee finally got their first run on a double by Mitch Gelfi down the left field line. Capasso uh, would advance to third base. Porcaro scored on the play. Now in the eighth inning, Valparaiso back to the plate. Chris Manning lined out to center. Look at Luke Matier flashing the leather. And now we see Billy Cribbs, the catcher, roping a single into left field. He would pick up an RBI as Burns would score. Now Milwaukee's eighth inning. This was their big inning where they scored three runs. It gets back into the ballgame. Here's Koenig ground ball. And the throwing error, or excuse me, not an error, but the throw was not in time that time. Now we take a look at Peak. He would pop one up. Looks like to be an easy play. Spencer Mahoney loses it in the sun. A run would score. So Mahoney, you could see, kind of perplexed. And now we pick it up. In the ninth inning, here's the ground out that ended the game, and Valpo would go on to get the 6-4 win. They will play tomorrow in the championship, and Milwaukee will have to flip the script and play against Wright State to try to stay afloat in the Horizon League Baseball Championship.